Tackle and Barbecue, a little store with a lot of family history bucking the tide. Yes, Sonia, that tide is development, and tonight one family is fighting for a chance to hold on to their small general store. You see it on the map here. Byram's is in the Steel Creek area of Charlotte, and that's where WCNC's Maria Catula went to get their story. 1890, the store was open. Daddy and Mom took it over, Bob and Agnes Byram, they took it over in 1950, uh, 1958, I believe. It's as simple, old-fashioned, and cramped as you can get. Fish and tackle, hot dogs and barbecue is what we do, and we do, we do darn good with it. So darn good that Byram's General Store has customers that won't shop at the fancy big box stores. This is pretty much the go-to place. If you think something, he's got it. If you don't have it, he'll get it for you. Well, I mean, we got your fishermen, we got your pro fishermen. Then you've got the guy that's going to go and sit with the kids and, and fish with a worm and a cricket. Now owner Robbie Byram is at a crossroads. Developers bought all 26 acres of his land to build a Bloom's grocery store shopping center. That meant saying goodbye to his store. We sold him the store. But for only about an hour. And then we bought it back. Uh, which is a crazy thing to do, and it's not a good business move. He just couldn't imagine bulldozers taking this piece of Mecklenburg history. I grew up in that house, yeah. It's hard enough watching his childhood home. It was built in about 1900, 1910. Being put on moving blocks. The store, his childhood home, and current home all going through major changes, but Robbie says what breaks his heart most in this is what used to be right here. In less than six hours, every tree was gone. I said, oh my goodness, that's the hardest thing in the world. There was a Deodora Cedar over there that was probably five feet in diameter. And we had a barn, a big old barn with six stalls, and we had horses all our life. Uh, yeah, it is very emotional. In Shopton Township, Maria Catula, Carolina's News Connection. Thank you, man. Have a good day. Uh,